We're just back from Elkhart, Indiana, RV capital of the world, where we were honored to be invited to host the RV Business Magazine's RV of the Year Awards for 2022. This is the second of five video tours of the finalists in our behind the scenes series. See the new styling and innovations. And stick around to the end to learn more about the official awards announcement and winner. Hello, Ember. <laughs> this is hot. This is the Ember Overland Micro Series Rock, or ROK. It is one of the five finalists for this year's RV of the Year Awards. It has a twin floor plan called the Roll, so the two together are rock and roll. Ember RV is brand new to the RV space, but their team is filled with long-term veterans in the industry. They are really doing some groundbreaking innovations and new ways of thinking about the RVs they are producing. One of those is the chassis and suspension. We'll have a detailed walkthrough of that with one of the founders later in the video, so stay tuned. But first, let's do a quick tour of the Ember Rock features above the frame rails. Right away, you can tell that this is designed for outdoor enthusiasts with a rooftop rack for a kayak and tent and the off-road suspension. The body also has a built-in exoskeleton for additional strength, not just a flimsy piece of trim like most trailers. The rooftop tent and ladder is an optional sleeping area because there is a futon bed inside that can comfortably accommodate even tall adults. It is a comfy couch during the day, then quickly converts to a bed surface. This exoskeleton is super cool. This would so much for the rigidity and ruggedness of this rig. Windows are European style dual pane acrylic and open up and stay open at multiple different angles. The front window has integrated window screen and privacy shades as well. Being a small camper, the ceiling height is low, so unless you're under 5 feet tall, don't plan on standing inside, but it is a very comfortable area to lounge in. There is a table with swivel and height adjustable arms and a well laid out functional storage including a pass through which is uncommon in RVs of this size. It has impressive standard features like tire pressure monitoring system, five sided aluminum construction, composite flooring, Asdell walls, Goodyear Wrangler tires and more. The unit we saw even had an air conditioner. The rear door lifts up to reveal an outdoor kitchen, electric cooler, integrated propane grill, storage and a TV. A TV seems a bit odd to me on a rig like this, but hey, I am sure there are some who will want it. The fenders are strong enough to stand on when accessing items on the roof, and there is a metal gearbox at the front which also holds the propane tanks. Now let's have a detailed look at what is beneath the skin of this new RV with one of the company founders. So here we are at Ember RV with Chris Barth, who is the co-founder, COO, and head of product development. That's, that's correct. Among many other yeah. roles. Uh, mo a lot of our folks here are multi-hat, so yeah. uh, we all have multiple roles for sure. Well, I'll tell you, when I walked up, Chris, I was so excited because I was, the unit's gonna be great, but I wanted to see the bones of this because I'm for so sure. excited about this unit. So tell us a bit about what we're seeing right here. Uh, well, what we're looking at is a brand new uh, frame and suspension system. Uh, that we came up with uh, for this Overland series. Uh, here you can see actually we have a trailing arm suspension. Um, what this essentially does is gives us completely independent suspension. We co-developed this with our friends at Lipper uh, who are doing it through their Kirk group. Again, something very cool is that you have to pair this chassis or pair this uh, suspension system with the upgraded chassis. Well, this chassis is beefy. I mean, you're it is. tube steel. It's really, really robust. This looks like you're ready to go some serious off-road. Well, so I think I think having an off-road chassis, and we've been calling this the Trailblazer chassis, This, the concept here is that we can go off-grid, we can go off-road very easily with this. Um, the independent suspension is something you've seen in, um, it happens in Australia all the time, and even some European caravans have that. Not so much in the US, although there's some specialty builders that do it. Um, in Elkhart County, not uh, not something that's been done. So the integrated wheel chock was another aspect of this that we were really excited about because if you had a single axle, how do you lock it down? And again, you can see the whole chassis move just now. So this is adjustable. And this is the prototype. You're looking at the prototype right here. Um, again, you adjust it, lock it in, and then pin it out. Wow. Now you could uh, also put a padlock here and you've got a nice security device. Yeah, that's good. It's because, a good thing. Yeah, because if you go off over landing and you're going to leave this something and you're going to go out and explore with your towing vehicle, 
you want to make sure this thing's secure. And what a great way to just, Absolutely. all you need is a padlock to secure the rear. Well, so uh, uh, single axle, you want to isolate the movement uh, forward and backwards as well. And they're, yeah. you know, other than chalking it uh, uh, with a number of blocks, uh, this thing seemed like a really intelligent way to do that. And again, our friends at Lippert, uh, 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 develop that and uh, this was Super a number of little wacky invention type things that we got into with what if this would pair with this would pair with this um, one thing solving the next you can see on the back here there's actually a suspension system as well um, right. that is a truss a truss jack so the, j the jacks come down um, and create a little bit more of a pyramid kind of shape mm -hmm. and again that's your side to side movement is isolated then so the um, what we are what we're calling a parking brake actually uh, they called it a, a wheel chalk at first uh, that'll be rebranded as a, as a parking brake. Parking brake isolated and moving back and forth, um, uh, front to back, uh, this uh, truss jack side to side. Very nice, very yeah. nice. You even took this robustness into this rear hitch. Like a lot of times these bumper, they're integrated into a bumper and you can only put like a one bicycle on yep. this. And this looks like you can put something heavy This is a 300 it. pound capacity okay. on a accessory hitch on the back here because of course, we think people are going to bring their bikes along, uh, maybe right. a cargo rack or something. Uh, so that's frame integrated. Um, we even have a couple things on the front end of the coach uh, to talk about that are very exciting as well. So a couple of the other things here, if I show you up front here, uh, one of the things we did, this specialty uh, um, jack on the front, which is totally flat, makes room in the A-frame area to put a giant gearbox up front. Um, so we wanted to really, really clear this out. And it's a heavy duty leveling jack that is a reposition going forward. Um, it's got the big arm coming coming forward in a tripod kind of set up there. So really excited about that. If we look at the very, very front here, we have um, what we're calling the Versa Coupler. The Versa Coupler here actually allows for alternative um, hitches to be installed. So something like a articulating hitch from a number of different makers. Let's say that they come up and their, their tow vehicle is at a different height. Uh, they have adjustability here, right? So we can go up and down in this massive C channel. And this is something you'd seen a, a heavy duty dump trailer. Uh, some other trailers use this already. This isn't unique to trailering, but is somewhat unique to RV. I, yeah. don't, I don't know of anybody else who's doing it this way. I've never seen anybody do this. And I love the versatility of being able to change the coupler to whatever yeah. and change the height. So someone bought their, bought their towing vehicle and they're like, oh, I just put a lift kit on my truck. But, Oh, I'll just raise the hitch on my trailer. <laughs> off-road trailers are probably going to be towed by off-road trucks. Yeah. Uh, off-road trucks sometimes have a little bit of height. So we saw a need to maybe uh, make some adjustments there. And that was a very cool thing that, uh, um, again, uh, sourcing all this stuff together uh, made kind of a lot of sense when we started putting all the pieces together. The last big piece here was using composite flooring. And the flooring itself, if you look, is, is a polypropylene core. Um, and again, has awesome screw retention. Uh, so this is something that uh, um, is in use in some other RV brands. I won't name uh, I won't name names, but something like a Silver Bullet kind of looking RV that's out there, and, they, and uh, wanted to get rid of their their plywood floors. And um, uh, we talked to this company called uh, uh, called Ridge out in um, Ohio uh, about this. And after looking at a whole bunch of different composite floors, this was the one that we loved because it had great strength. Um, obviously, there's all the things with composite about being lighter. Um, and being uh, impervious to water damage and mold and mildew, rot, all that kind of stuff. But also, again, fantastic screw retention. And score floor. And then Asdel is the name of the sidewall material. So totally composite build um, from the shell. Um, but then we get inside of the furniture, and the furniture is uh, set up with wood because we wanted some of that warmth with wood. Uh, Ashley was really excited about kind of capturing a, um, a really unique look that we thought we could only do with wood. <laughs> Is this like the little sunbaking area? Is that what this is for? Uh, you, know, you know, like on the front of boats? I think once you're right there, for you sure we can the front set something up like that, right? The uh, bar out there, bar top. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Everything I've touched has felt really high quality in this. Did you like the new Overland Micro Series Rock by Ember RV? And do you think it will win RV of the Year? Let us know in the comments below. We're posting videos daily between now and November 15th when you can catch interviews with the finalists and announcement of the winner at 12 noon Eastern, November 15th, 2021 at rvbusiness.com. Now go check out the other video tours here on our channel and our behind the scenes interview with Rick Kessler of RV Business who shares how they select the RV of the Year finalists and the winner. Remember to like the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications and watch all the videos in the RV of the Year series. Thanks for watching.